you might experience some difficulty by finding out what you really like by only looking inward. But if you looked on the surface as well, you can get some inclination of who you are and what you're becoming. As humans, we have a tendency to judge others. And if you feel that urge to judge another human being, I challenge you to first look at yourself. And when you look and judge yourself, do so on the basis of what you produce. The same way we judge an apple tree, by what it produces. Remember this, the production of a person is imprinted on their character. And it is our character which shapes and changes the trajectory of our fate. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. Our fate is the sum total of what we want and what we deem we are qualified to receive at any given stage of our lives. And therefore, it should change as we get older and wiser with quality. Such change should reflect the change in you. And if it does not change, it is an indication that you are not growing in quality and maturing as a person. You see, we can only grow through right knowledge with application. And as we grow, our world will reflect that change. We outgrow our old selves like a snake shedding its old skin no longer big enough to contain us. And that's the way it should be. Each of you watching this is like a highly complex organization and you should always be growing. For growth is change and anything that does not change is dead. Like any organization, the overall success of a person is based primarily on the quality of how they manage themselves. Take this time and look at yourself as a unit of production because we all produce things like words, attitude, and energy, which reflects our management. And so the quality of our total product, which is our self, will be determined by our self-management. We can determine the quality of our product by assessing what we're being paid for it. And I'm not talking monetary gain. I'm talking about getting exactly what you show through your character, which becomes your fate. Now, I need you to understand this point very well. The quality of your management is based on the main ideas in your mind. And this idea becomes the main road in which you travel. So the question you should be asking yourself is, where do you get most of your ideas from? And the answer is simple, none other than your surrounding. We often surround ourselves in environments of circumstances, which reflects us and includes our true feelings. No matter how hard or loud we talk about things that we claim we accept, our disposition reflects our true feelings. They show to others what is important to us because they reflect our maturity at any given stage of our lives. Now, regardless of this revelation, you must realize that you can change and that you can grow. And as you change and grow, your fate will always reflect that change and growth for our character is the architect of our fate. Now, there are two main conditions in which we all should grow in. The first condition of concern is your degree of receptivity. Is your mind open to new ideas and creative reasoning? Many people and organizations are what is referred to as a closed system. A closed system suffer from the belief that they are already the source of all useful information. And this can never be so. For we can learn from anyone, even amongst the ignorant, you can find wisdom. A closed system ultimately begins to shrink, and it will eventually die if it stays closed long enough. Anyone making up the management of such a system who feels no need for new ideas, or who does not challenge their own viewpoint from time to time, are on the road to stagnation and decline. The second condition governing a person's growth is determined by the source of the ideas. Now, if your ideas only come from those you are customarily surrounded by, you will only reinforce the ideas you already live by, by strengthening a character that can be flawed if the ideas are wrong. The word character comes from the Greek word character, which means an engraved mark, symbol, or imprint on the soul. In other words, your character is the trait that forms the apparent features of the individual nature of a person or thing and it constitutes a mark or a brand. So ask yourself, what does your brand or feature of your character says about you? I'm Kef Ray, and this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Party.
about it. Facts we stated. You wanna know something? Go back to basics. Most saw trapping was called the matrix. The world fibbled lies, yet it's hard to face it. So I spread truth, hope you embrace it.